Hey friend, Roger Gustafsson here again with another first listen review. Um, been sick as a dog this week, so please excuse me if I sound that way, but uh, did not step me, stop me from uh, getting out there and seeing what to, uh, you know, order in and buy in and whatever new releases coming out this week. And uh, one that I was really looking forward to is <clears throat> the one I'm going to be talking about right now. It is Trapeze, The Lost Tapes, Volume 1. And uh, in case nobody's familiar with Trapeze, <clears throat> quick rundown. The reason I fell in love with Trapeze is because of Glenn Hughes, plain and simple. Uh, Glenn Hughes sang with him for a little bit and until before he joined Deep Purple and then went on to do a million other things, but he was the reason I discovered Trapeze. <clears throat> and also, uh, Mel Galley and Tom Galley, they went on to do like the Phenomena series. I forget which one was in charge of that. One of the two brothers was in charge of writing all the songs and recording all that stuff. And... Uh, Glenn sang on the first one almost everything. In fact, I think he did sing everything on the first one, and then he did a few more after that. And uh, those are really cool. Uh, you know, if you haven't checked any of that stuff out, that's really cool stuff. I mean, Glenn sings amazing on everything, but that's some really cool stuff there. Really <clears throat> weird uh, sci fi type of uh, stuff there. Um, I won't get too much into that because we're talking about trapeze. But anyway, this is a. Uh, really kind of a different list that's just kind of like what it says. it's called the lost tapes and as uh, there's been many different versions of uh trapeze people coming in and out quite a bit uh but the one thing they did not do on this is they did not run these uh tracks in like chronological order there's kind of all over the place which makes it for a a really weird listen uh they're i mean you get like the newest like version of it and then you go like to the glen and then there's the middle verse where uh, Mel singing some of the stuff, and uh, <clears throat> so it kind of jumps all over the place. But uh, nonetheless, it was still fun to listen to. Um, my favorite stuff out of everything here was the Glenn songs, in particular. Probably my favorite song on this whole thing was track number three, Breakdown. That one uh, really just is a highlight, and I really enjoyed that one. But that's not saying anything else on here was bad. Actually, this was a really good listen. There wasn't a clunker on this, and quite honestly, listening back to some of the trapeze stuff. Um, there's a few albums that stand out, you know, more than others. And, uh, in fact, you know, some of the songs even on the, like Medusa, for instance, there's a couple on there that, not my favorites, you know, but the ones that are good are, you know, really good and they make up for the difference. But this is one that actually, every single song on here was pretty cool. So that was, uh, nice to actually not have to worry about if I ever put this on again, which I'm sure I will, not having to worry about skipping tracks. So... That's always a fun thing, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, the songs are kind of recorded like just sporadically all over the place. They recorded them between albums, and while they're on tour, they made some of these, and they, they sound very unfinished. It doesn't sound like uh, you know this was ever intended to be the final version of anything. Uh, in fact, the levels are all over the place, and just the quality is kind of like it goes up and down. I mean, it's just the, the quality of the recordings. Um, well, fortunately, the stuff with Glenn singing it sounds really good, and the later stuff um, they did sounds really good. So stuff in between that sounds um, kind of weird, you know, the stuff with all that Mel seems to be singing on. But uh, anyway, I, I guess I guess Mel kind of knew that you know he was gonna like want to use the stuff someday, so he like gave him to his brother to keep track of him, and I guess uh, you know that uh, Tom and then their their manager at the time, Tony Perry, went through all the stuff, and this is kind of how they picked all the stuff out, apparently, but uh, anyway, uh, you know, the, like so some of the other stuff on here, I guess like, um, I don't know, let's see, like Backstreet Kid was kind of like a cool one, even though it sounded like it was recorded really not well, <laughs> but it sounded, that was kind of a fun song to listen to. Um, there was like, you know, they got a little bit of the funk in there, I, although there wasn't, you know, when, when uh, Glenn was in the band, it seemed like the, there was a lot more funk involved. There didn't seem like there was a whole lot of funk involved in, uh, you know, any of these songs, except for maybe, I don't know, Catching Up On You, uh, maybe, it sounded like maybe that one was intended to be like more of a funk song, but didn't really, you know, progress into much anything other than that. Um, you know, there, obviously there's some versions of the band where they have some keyboards and there's some that they don't. So it's, like I said, it's like the listing's all over the place. There are some <clears throat> highlights here, you know, that I was trying to like just pick out really quickly here. Um, I don't know what other song that I think was really good on here. 
probably cool water is actually the very first one. It really kicked in really well. And the last song, You're Going Home, was actually probably some of my favorite ones. Um, like I said, you've got, you know, Mel sings quite a few, and they got Pete Golby. Uh, when he joined the band after their other, other guitarist left to go join Budgie, and he took over vocals, and all that stuff is recorded a lot more cleanly and a lot better than, you know, stuff like You've Got It and Who Do You Run To sounds a whole lot better than some of these other ones on here. So anyway, I know it's just a kind of a quick rundown of the album. It was really fun listening to. Um, I wish there was more Glenn songs on here. Unfortunately, there's only just a few. And uh, the only one that really stuck out to me that he sang on as like being a really, really cool song was that, uh, that one I mentioned there, Breakdown. And, uh, you know, other than that, um, I don't know, feel free as always to, uh, you know, leave your uh, your comments and your views on this. If you've heard it, uh, if you haven't heard it, you know, go out and get it or stream it or whatever. I don't even know if this is available streaming. I'm sure it is. You know, everybody streams stuff nowadays, so I'm sure it is. But And feel free to leave your comments down below. Um, there's actually another Glenn Hughes album that I got this weekend, too. Uh, so I'll be, you know, listening to that one. Actually, I got about halfway through it right now, but... Uh, I was taking notes on this one as I was listening, and uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll take some better notes on this next one. My head's full of cold medicine, and uh, I'm kind of babbling at this point, so we're going to end it here, but make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and we will see, talk to you in the next one. See you.